next question which kind of came up a lot of times if the pregnancy was planned if i felt sick on the first months of pregnancy what are you avoiding during pregnancy food ingredients products and etc were you hoping for a boy or a girl question about relationship how does it affect your relationship with your husband meaning the pregnancy what's up guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video with me and today we are in a lecture room and you know what that means by now we're having another chit chat video and today i wanted to do a special pregnancy q a that a lot of you asked about because you guys have a lot of questions and i feel like i wasn't really talking much about my pregnancy over here like i just announced so i do feel like i'll have a lot to share and just update you on and just start this conversation i uh, just did a q a on my instagram so i could add also maybe some interesting question to the one i already have so yeah it's real guys it's getting so real i currently 18 and a half almost 19 weeks pregnant so the bump is here it's very nice very cute very small i absolutely adore it i started to feel kicks already probably a week ago so it was quite exciting because allegra also felt them like i put her hand on my belly and she also felt the kicks so it was really really exciting for her to experience it too and she was just so happy and she's like oh my god the baby's there she's hanging high so things are definitely starting to feel real uh about the gender a lot of you guys ask and it was one of the most asked questions i'm gonna shoot it right away not gonna reveal it in this video but i will be posting the reveal probably this week on my instagram so if you haven't followed me yet on instagram please do it will be a very very cute video of our gender reveal we didn't do like a big reveal party because i don't know it's just it just feels like a lot of work on top of already a lot of things going on and plus like in my country where i come from the gender reveal is not common known in valeria too so we really didn't want to kind of make a big deal out of it but we did want to make something special and cute so we could share with our families and share with you guys too and also save a memory for ourselves i will be posting it there please 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 follow me there and check it out so let's start with a first question which kind of came up a lot of times if the pregnancy was planned yes the pregnancy was planned 100 percent we were waiting for a time where we felt like we were ready and to be quite honest with you i feel like now <laughs> that you're never 100 percent ready but i did felt like before that time i was completely not ready now i'm like a little bit ready i do feel like you need to feel like you have enough energy for it and you feel yourself complete you know on your own before giving a birth to a child because a new child takes a lot of energy away it requires a lot of dedication and time so i did felt like if i add one more child on top of myself like it's not gonna be any good for anyone so i did wait for quite a bit of time allegra is gonna turn five in november and a due date of this child this is the funniest fact the due date of this child is exact same due date as allegra has so it's gonna be exactly five years difference so i did felt like i was finally ready and we finally started to talk with my husband about having another child so it was like a mutual decision to go into it because i do feel like also it's important for a partner to be ready we definitely planned it we tried maybe for about five months we honestly weren't like stressing out too much we were just enjoying <laughs> ourselves and we're like okay whenever this thing happened it happens for the fifth month that we were trying i actually bought an ovulation test and wanted to kind of check where my ovulation is because obviously it wasn't happening for already like four months i wasn't stressed out about it at all because a lot of people were asking me like did you feel stressed out that you didn't get pregnant from the first months to be honest no because i hear a lot of stories when it takes for some people maybe a year to get pregnant for some people it happens a month so i feel like you don't have to compare your pregnancy journey with anyone else so i did felt like i was just focused on myself enjoying my life my child my husband and um, just I kind of told to myself whenever it's gonna happen I'm ready for it but I'm not gonna feel stressed about it another question that's been coming up a lot if I felt sick on the first months of pregnancy I did felt 
pregnancy sickness. I was super nauseous on the first trimester, which is basically it started around, I would say seven weeks and it ended around 16. I felt super, super sick. I couldn't eat much. I lost three kilos. I was really concerned because you know, unsettling feeling when you're pregnant and you're not only thinking about yourself, but a baby. Is the baby is gonna be healthy? You know, you obviously stressed out about those parts, but just comparing like my pregnancy journey uh, with Allegra and with uh, this baby. I would say I feel like pregnancies are very similar, but with a difference that are on Allegra, I wasn't really sick on the first trimester. I was just didn't really have appetite or interest in food as much. With this baby, I would say I really felt sick. Overall, I feel like the pregnancies are very similar. Like I'm gaining kind of the same amount of weight. People didn't know I was pregnant with Allegra until I was probably month six or five. On this baby, I kind of started to tell a little bit earlier to people, but the same way I started to show probably just two, three weeks ago only. So I could really keep it a secret for a long time. What are you avoiding during pregnancy? Food ingredients, products, and etc. They say pregnancy is not a sickness, so I would say I live my usual lifestyle. Uh, again, I think you can do it only if you have a healthy pregnancy and you always have to consult with your doctor. But uh, my doctor is kind of easygoing, so he always tells me, if you feel good, feel energetic, do your usual things. As soon as I stopped being nauseous, I went back into working out. Now I'm working out maybe three to four times a week. I definitely like lower the intensity of workouts because I just go with like my intuition and I just don't overdo it. I don't lift heavy weights. And since it's my second pregnancy, like I already kind of know what to do. Uh, first pregnancy, I hired actually a trainer. He had a certification for pregnancy workouts. So I already remember which exercise you could do, which exercise you couldn't do. And to be honest, it's very minimal. You have to just go easy on weights because you know you can't, I think, lift more than 20 pounds. So yeah, I kind of know what I'm doing now by now and I go to even group classes, so feel very easy going about it. Regarding the food, I don't eat sushi. I, <laughs> this is funny. I mean, that's what they say. With the first pregnancy, you're like a little bit more conscious. You're like so strict. With this pregnancy, I'm definitely more easy going. I do drink fresh juices, even so they say like you can't drink juices. For the pasteurized cheese, I try to always follow it and just be like conscious about it. I would say in America, most of the cheeses are pasteurized, unless it's like blue cheese maybe, or some like soft cheese that are not pasteurized, but overall everything is pasteurized. Probably I'll have to be more careful in Europe because in Europe things are kind of go from farm to table and things are less regulated maybe, so I will have to be careful there. But overall I'm just feeling relaxed and um, doing my best, but not really stressing out about it because I think that's honestly the best way of approaching it. And regarding cosmetic and stuff, it's so funny, on my first pregnancy I was so conscious about like using the cosmetic products that are natural and my skin looked horrible <laughs> by horrible i mean horrible like it was so many breakouts so many pimples so many clock pores i've been learning more about skincare because i really do like to take care of my skin i learned that purely natural products are not always great for your skin uh, natural product provoke a lot of allergy reactions and i do think i'm quite sensitive so the natural product really doesn't work for me so this pregnancy i'm using the same exact cream I used before pregnancy, but they're clean, like means no paraben, nothing, but they're not natural. So I would suggest using like a good ingredient cream with no parabens, no parfum, nothing. Just a good on point ingredients, which is like hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, all the stuff that is very good for your skin and comes in a pure form. I will make a separate video about self-care during pregnancy because I think it's such a big topic that I just want to dedicate a video to it. So stay tuned. I'll definitely film for the next one just everything regarding self-care and how I take care of my skin my body and supplements and everything during pregnancy coming back to a gender were you hoping for a boy or a girl well, we ask this question a lot and to be honest we don't care I think as a mom I just want my baby to be healthy funny thing was the first one Valeria was very much like 
I need a boy like if it's not a boy <laughs> like I don't know I'm gonna be upset you know but I think as soon as he found out it was a girl he was like happy and now that he has a girl he's telling me like to be honest I don't care if it's a boy or a girl like the girls are so sweet and like she adores him and they have such a connection so I think now he's kind of on the same page with me where like we don't care about the gender we just want the baby to be healthy the first time the same way too like he wanted the baby to be healthy but I feel like he was giving more importance to the gender on the first baby where now we just like chill so I feel the same way but Allegra only agreeing on sister so let's see her reaction do you have a plan of how you will handle two kids at the same time that's a very good question and I think it goes to the same answer as I mentioned earlier. I didn't feel like I could handle two kids before I got pregnant, that's why it took us so long to be ready. But I think with now the whole setup I have, the way I feel about my work, the things are set up, with Allegra going to school, I definitely see how I can add another child into it and don't take away the attention from my first child and also meanwhile giving an attention to a second child. Now my setup is like, okay, I already have kind of established work where I know the hours, I know the routine, I also have a team that helps me. And also, on another hand, Allegra is going to school from 8.30 to 3, so I definitely have this time to dedicate to my second child and my work as well. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, I of course understand that it will be a harder for me, but I'm incredibly lucky that we have help and I'm uh, planning to have for the second baby a baby nurse maybe for three months, like night nurse not full-time nurse but night nurse so I can have a good night's sleep because sleep is essential for me especially I learned it the hard way in the first one I got a really bad postpartum depression due I think to the lack of sleep because I really couldn't sleep I will try not to repeat this mistake this time and will try to have a help during night so I can focus on my sleep and just replenish my energy and recover myself after birth properly and don't like run myself down right away I will try to play a long game <laughs> and also Allegra has still a nanny to be honest we don't really need her anymore because Allegra is going to school and as soon as she comes back from school like I want to spend time with her and dedicate time with her you know of course there are some days where I work like full days or we travel or whatever and it's useful but overall I would say I don't really need nanny anymore but I kept her full time just because I didn't want to let her go as we were planning a second child. And for me personally, it's so hard to find a person that I will trust. And I do feel like she became a part of our family. So we didn't want to cut her a paycheck, you know, so she would have a need to go and find another job. So we definitely give her like a couple of tasks around the house at the moment that she's helping us with. And she's kind of excited also for baby number two. So I can definitely tell you that I'm lucky enough to have all this help that I will have so I definitely see how I will manage it this is also a very good question before I go because I do need to run to pick up Allegra from school but I really like that question about relationship how does it affect your relationship with your husband meaning the pregnancy. I will say it's definitely affects it. It cannot go unnoticed, just generally, as you go from being alone together with your partner into like having children, it definitely changed a lot the situation. I do feel like with the second child, probably it's not gonna be as dramatic as if it's the first one, but it's still a change. When the pregnancy comes, it's obviously, you know, it's an exciting time, but at the same time, you're also like, you know, with all the confidence I have and how good I feel, I still understand like my body is not, the same maybe I don't feel as sexy anymore so um, definitely a support from a partner very much appreciated he definitely provides me it didn't happen I would say naturally I definitely was vocalizing my thoughts and my feelings and what I would want to see in him because especially when I was pregnant with Allegra it was for him like a first time having a pregnant wife so of course I expected him not to know what he was doing but I feel like this pregnancy around he already kind of familiar also with the process and how the things are going so he definitely more understanding without me talking too much if that makes sense but I would say um, to keep this sparkle alive still in a relationship 
whether you have one kid or two, I always say you have to put effort into it. We try to have a date nights at least once a week. If you can have help, obviously like spending time alone, doing workouts together maybe in the morning. Besides having an amazing family time, I think it's also very important to curve out the time for just you and him to kind of replenish the flames that you have in both of you and reconnect and just have a conversation outside the family routine, which not always easy, like even when we go out, we sometimes sketch ourselves talking about the Allegra or pregnancy or whatever. So of course, uh, our family is at the moment is like a center of our attention and universe, but um, you should never forget that in the end the foundation of your family is your love with your husband. A lot of moms ask me how not to feel guilty for taking time for yourself or taking time with your husband, go on vacation together or date nights or whatever and I always say well look at it like this way that you're also benefiting your child by showing an example of how you know not only how to be an amazing mom but also how to be an amazing wife how to be an amazing entrepreneur maybe if you like to work or how to take care of yourself so i think that actions speak louder than words and even so you think that kids don't look what you do they always do and always notice so i definitely think whatever you want to model for your kid you should definitely show it on example so i do think that as soon as i came in a realization with the thoughts it became much easier for me to disconnect from home and just go and enjoy myself and enjoy my husband and come back home with more energy and just being a better happier self so this is my advice would be i hope you enjoyed this q a i really have to run because i'm gonna be late for pickup but i hope we can do another pregnancy q a I hope you liked all my answers. If you have additional questions, honestly, we'll be happy to answer them. So leave the questions down below in the comments and let me know, guys, anything you like to know. I love you all so much. Thank you for being on this journey with me. I hope you follow me here on my Instagram and whatever platforms I have. And we will stay connected. Thank you, guys. See you next video. Ciao.